Hey students, welcome back, welcome again. So today we are back in action with chromyl chloride test, an important test if you are studying K2Cr207 or D block elements. So what is chromyl chloride test? The name suggests many things. First of all, chloride test. It suggests that the test is of chloride ion. We are going to test chloride ion with this particular test. Next is chromyl chloride. If you look here, Chromyl chloride suggests the major product formed in this reaction or the major product formed in the test. The formula of chromyl chloride is CrO2Cl2. It is formed in the form of vapors and the color is orange red or you can say deep red. Now let us get to the recipe of this test and what will be the ingredients and how will we conclude this. Now if you have a suspected chloride or any compound where you have suspicion of chloride ion. What will you do? You will mix H2SO4 and K2Cr2O7 in it and started heating the mixture. On heating, you will observe orange red vapors of CrO2Cl2. So this will surely not confirm but indicate the presence of chloride. Now for the confirmation, you can add or you can pass these vapors. We are going to pass these vapors in water or NaOH and the solution turns yellow. As the solution turns yellow, the presence of chloride ion is confirmed. It is a very simple test. H2SO4, K2Cr2O7 and the chloride suspected compound. Heating gives orange red vapors of chromyl chloride along with water or NaOH it gives yellow solution. Now if you look here, this is the standard reaction of it. And the reaction, now when you see the reaction, it, uh, it contains a lot of salt, a lot of products and a lot of things to remember. That is a particularly, what I can say, that is something horrible as far as chemistry is concerned. So let, let me make this a bit simple for you to understand and remember. So now if you consider this reaction, I'm going to explain this, how these extra, extra, extra things are formed. So look here. Now we have K2Cr2O7. I will write this here. And the major product is what? CrO2Cl2. Now, if you look here, we have two chromium atoms. So, there will be formation of two units of chromyl chloride. That is as simple. Two here and two here. Next, you look, we have four chlorine here. How many? Four chloride, chloride units are here. Therefore, I conclude that we should take four units of NaCl or any metallic chloride that we have, that we are using if it is univalent. Now, for NaCl, K2Cr2O7, one of the product, the major product is formed. Now, from where the hell comes this, this and this? It is all creation of what? H2SO4. Now comes H2SO4. What is H2SO4? Sir, H2SO4 is an acid as far as class 10th in CRT told us and acid gives H plus ion when dissolved in water or it has the natural tendency to give H plus ion. So H2SO4 will give H plus ion and HSO4 minus ion. Now if you look here, in this recipe we have a lot of positive charge K plus, Na plus, Na plus, Na plus. And H2SO4 is going to provide one HSO4 minus ion. So if you want to neutralize all these six positive charge ions, we need six H2SO4 that will give us six H plus and 6HSO4 minus. Next step is very simple. It is just the addition of plus to the minus. Now K plus will go to what? HSO4 minus forming two units of KHSO4. Now these four Na plus will go to again the HSO4 minus and forming four units of NaHSO4. Last but not the least, we have 6H plus left and for, if you look here, we have 3 oxygen left, 6H plus, 3 oxygen, that is as simple, 3 units of H2O. Now you can, maybe you can memorize this if you approach this in this particular fashion. First of all, write down K2Cr2O7, then NaCl, that will give you an idea of chromyl chloride and NaCl, the rest is done by H2SO4 forming these salts and water molecule. I hope you love it. So share this, take a screenshot and write it down. That is very important for your exams. Thank you for watching.